Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg with Basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron on the Twitters. And uh, this is Tuesday, April 21st. And uh, it's time for your weekly challenge. And this week, uh, you know, last week we talked about, uh, we'll talk about fear in a moment for this week, of course. But last week we talked about video. I, I put out there a video challenge for you guys to jump in on. And, uh, and and got a little bit of interaction. Uh, uh, our boy Gabriel, who's actually been joining us, he, he's been very vocal and emailing us and, and and participating a great bit on the Wrestling Mayhem show. But he got in there. He is, if I got all the details right, I believe he he's he's a security dude all the way out in um, Portland. If I have that right, uh, he'll he'll let me know because I know you're listening out there, Gabriel. But you see, he put pop the video in there, and I don't know how much he's put the camera on himself or anything like that. But this is exactly the right thing to do. Um, actually, a really interesting piece because he got on, and he had something on his mind, and I think if nothing else, this is a way. If you're like, I got this 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 idea on my head, and and that's that's you know partly why I do these because I'm like I, I just need to talk to people you know um, and you get to talk to everybody when it's a podcast when it's a video on Facebook something like that it's a, it's a video blog something like that um, and he actually discussed about you know he doesn't understand why people can't get jobs you know apparently he's he uh, according to this uh, again if I have the numbers right he's been blessed with about 70 job opportunities in the last couple of years and then and then here's these people on the bus saying ah oh, I can't get a job you know etc etc um and also a subject that people will have an opinion on so uh, depending on where he posts that he will have a response I think so um uh, great stuff though no he did great uh you know for you know, again, not knowing how much experience he has in front of a lens on a microphone, um, it really, really kind of uh, uh, stuck out there, I thought. Um, the only thing, and I told him that, please turn the camera the other way. Turn it horizontally. I think it's funny, tough enough, which we'll talk about tonight on the Wrestling Mayhem show for this week. Um, one of their qualifications is you must have horizontal video. Um, so please take note, indie wrestlers. I you know who I'm talking to. Um and, uh, and and please do that. So the challenge for this week, I wanted to touch on fear. People maybe last week with the video uh, challenge had a fear of turning a lens on themselves. Have a fear. I have a, I have so many students that we really kind of um, we really kind of uh, uh, surprise with, oh, you're going to be on the internet today, and we put them in front of a webcam with our host, and and we're discussing these topics with my client, and uh, that that does not sound like a good situation. When I just say it that way, it's a behavioral health place and they're PA students, uh, um, uh, phys physician's assistant, I believe is the technical term. And, uh, and, 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 and they're kind of the, you know, uh, reactors and, and they're being educated. So we get them on and talk about that. But in a lot of things in, 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 uh, you know, so many people are, I'm in a job, I need to get out of here, but I have a fear of what's next. And especially when I left to do these things, and it's not easy what I'm doing with a, with my own business that I'm moderately business minded, maybe sort of, probably not if you look at my last few years here um, and my finances and everything. But, um, but still, you know, to be able to go out on a limb and say, what's the worst thing that can happen? There was a few years ago, a book I read, uh, and, and, and talks I listen to from Seth Godin talking about, and this is another thing, you know, that comes up often is the monkey mind, right? Um, uh, the lizard brain, you know, uh, that fear that's in our heads when we are leaving a comfortable job, no matter how much we hate it, is that same fear that was built into us because we needed to know to run away from the freaking lion that was going to eat us. There's no lion trying to eat us these days, guys. And we create what that fear is, is the general gist of it. I know it gets far, far more complicated than that. But um, this is how I use that. Anytime that I have come up against something, and a lot of things that we've talked about in the last few weeks are dealing with things that are like, I got to get up the balls to write this person. I get the balls to invite this person on my podcast because it is worthwhile, you know, because I have this idea that I'm just bugging people, right? And, 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 and having the balls to do something like that and, and say email somebody 
um, you know, just out of the blue, because what's the worst can happen? They say, no, you move on. You're some podcaster they said no to. You move on. Um, or the good things are we end up with, back when it was a show on TV, one of the coolest moments was getting a, a, a Toa of the American Gladiators in that last run with Hulk Hogan on it, who happened to be The Rock's cousin, which we didn't even know until we started talking to him on the interview. Uh, and did double stunt doubles for him on his first couple of movies. And I was like, wow, you know, now we get to say, hey, we interviewed The Rock's cousin. No, it's not The Rock. Yes, it's kind of a second degree, but it's a cool thing to say, you know, and a guy that was like on NBC in primetime at the time we were talking to him. It was just tremendous. Or uh, guys like Superfly Jimmy Snuka or Jerry Sags of the Nasty Boys, you know, I mean, those kinds of things. Now I'm more strategically like, well, I don't know where to fit those people in. I'd rather do these indie interviews. But still. When I get a job, when somebody's like, can you do this for me? Uh, be it a shoot, be it this, be it that. And even if I'm on the limited fringe of, I think I can pull that off, I go for it. You know, um, I'm, I'm every time I go and do a show, uh, you know, even if I'm behind the camera, it's just like back in the day when I used to get on stage in a rap group. Yes, I used to do a rap group. You, you, I'm sure you can find it. Um, you know, it, 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 I, I, well, for me, I, I also vibe off of that performance and, and just the stage fright is gone. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's very obvious, but I'll often, much like this microphone here every morning, go in with very little, a germ of an idea and, uh, and just pull, pull something out of my head for that. And I, I can roll with it. Uh, but, uh, you know, things like, hey, can you speak in front of these students? Hey, would you like to teach um, and do an adjunct thing for a year and a half? I was like, which I'm like, Pfft. Sounds like a cool challenge. I'm scared shitless of the kids, but we'll work around that, you know. And and we did, and I had a lot of good times out of that, and I learned a lot, and it got it. It helped me brush up my my speaking and engagement and in front of people skills a little bit, you know. Um, I mean, so so basically, my challenge for this week, and you know, this is not something you directly need to respond to, but you need to look at that thing. If the idea of moving in a certain direction, you know, get your heart going, you know, makes you like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know what this could happen. What you, you got the, if you got a case of the what ifs, that's a first sign that you got that fear and you should move towards that direction. If you if you have that feeling, you know, you need to push through that feeling every time. If I'm not doing something that scares me, I'm becoming complacent. Things are falling by the wayside. And every time I've done that is when I've gotten trouble with my company. Um, not horrible trouble, but as in like, I don't have enough happening, right? You got to take risks. You got to move towards something. You can't find the comfortable thing and just ride it. Every time I've done that, it went away. <laughs> <laughs> it went away and uh and 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 not being afraid of running out of time because you know, that thing could go away and you'll find yourself with more time than you wanted to um i'm rolling a lot of things in here but this is just what's on my mind um for instance you know i i, I have uh, actually you know a project coming back here and i'm like oh can i do this can i do this on a regular basis again can we can we bring that back can we win another award with this project um i have a documentary in the works and i'm doing it without my usual producer uh because i want to do it um I don't want to say the right way, but like a different way. You know, I, I want to be able to create a documentary that ends up on a Netflix, at least. You know, it's not going to be the great, awesome, most crazy thing. It's not going to be the chic movie. I'm not experienced enough for that. But I think I can get something damn close to it that will get that kind of attention. And, uh, and, 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 you know, working with different people and being able to bring them in, you know, the delegation that I have to do to not do everything by myself. And if I do it by myself, not that it's going to be half assed, but it's going to be obvious that one person did everything and I need somebody to work off of, um, you know, and I have a fear of reaching out and doing that. We're going to conquer that. And I hope you guys conquer something this week and that, you know, uh, this, uh, let me know. Uh, have a discussion. What, what's something you've been afraid of or what is something that you were deathly afraid to do? Could have been a new job? Could have been something else? And did it work out? Let me know if it didn't work out. Love to hear that, too. Let me know at Sorgatron on Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where this podcast is. 
We've got plenty of cool stuff to talk about this week. Let's know what you want me to talk about on this show. I want a little bit of interaction. We had a great topic from Dan Hooven last week, um, who, who, who's a regular listener to this show. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.